close one on time. All right, so let's play one more game. Hopefully, this is going to be a make it or break it game. I either get over 1600 in this game or I don't. And uh, then I'll quit because I can't spend all day playing chess. I wish I could, but I can't because I have other things I need to do, other things that I like to do. All right. What a boring position. <laughs> Useless. What is this? Double fianchetto? Fianchetto? Whatever. Let's get something like this going on. No. You're not allowed on that square. Just playing quickly right now for time. The idea is to vacate the queen side, play rook c8, cover c6, neutralize the power of that bishop. If I'm given time, I'll play queen d7 and attack h3. He should play king h2. That would be the probably the safest move. But then I do have this bishop looking at him, so that should be interesting. It would be interesting if he just blindly goes for c4 here. No, he doesn't. Now, is there anything I can do about that pawn? I don't know if there is anything I can do about that in the moment. I could play b5. C4. I don't have to do anything if I don't want to. You don't have to do anything you don't want to in chess. Except you're in check, then you have to move the king. Or deal with the check. And if you're in checkmate, you have to lose. Otherwise, other than that, there's nothing in chess that you have to do if you don't want to do it. What about knight h5, e4, trying to do something on that square? There's not enough firepower on that square. It's a useless idea. Man, this position is like... Don't know how to improve my position anymore. Well, this knight is not doing anything productive. Where should he go? Here to here? No. I could play him... Where would this knight like to be? H5 doesn't work. Let's do this. Let's try and push h4. Get as many pawns on the fourth rank as I can. I don't know what he's planning to do, but my position seems pretty solid. Hmm, I could let him take. I could push. I could go crazy with something like g5. I'm down on time. All different things. I mean, everything else is defended, so why not play f4? Try and get something going against this king. Oh, man. I'm going to throw my neck out playing chess. Figures as much. This is like a Grand Prix attack. Not really. <laughs> Okay, you're not going to take, because then I get the bishop in with check. And your king side's full of holes. You're going to want to keep that together, probably. I mean, I might as well take here first. Why not? Now I'm going to take on d5 next move. Um, I mean, I'm going to get pressure here. I don't know what you're going to do about it. Oh, this is annoying. Maybe not. This could harass him a bit. Start to transfer some heavy artillery towards the king. The knight's pinned right now. Essentially, because knight takes c5, bishop takes c5. You still have a problem with the queen. I don't have a problem with mine. This should be fine. And then the bishop retreats on the following move. Let's see, knight takes there, check, I just take back. You don't have to remove the knight, and you don't. Hmm. I can do check, take, 
bring him out into the open. He's controlling d4, e5. Take, you have to take back with the pawn. Gives me a little bit more time to come up with something good. I really don't want to take like that. Wait, it's still pinned. I don't have to take it, and I could just take b3. Might as well take the free pawn, right? When you can take a free pawn, do it. Well, not always. It's like that commercial for uh, one of the credit reporting agencies. When free is really free. You should only take a free pawn when it's really free. Okay, now he's threatening to take there. Uh, and I've kind of screwed myself over. I can't... Well, yeah, I can pull back. Ah, uh, he's still going to take that. He's got so many pieces on it. He's covering G2. He's ahead on the clock. By a wide margin. Alright. I'll allow you to take on either C5 or D6. You can take on C5. Most likely. But at least I get pressure here. You're going to take with the queen or the rook. Probably going to take with the rook, but the queen would probably be safer. Okay, so let's see. I take here. If he takes with the queen, then I'm just winning a piece over there. If he takes with the knight, he can't take with the knight. Covering g7 all the time. I'm eventually coming in with knight g5. Hit that. Threaten checks. Rook on c5 is not going to do anything special. I mean, you could try and take here. Okay, what is this doing? Not a whole lot. In fact, not even preventing me from playing here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Check, take, done. Okay, but, I mean, he has so many problems that I'm probably still going to be able to play this move. Uh, or not. Okay. Maybe I still do. Get to play it. Still up a piece. choice, right? No choice. I can play here. It's no good. Play back. What if I play back? I'm going to lose on time. Ah! He had nothing better than a draw in this position. Right? You're not going to stop me. Oh, shoot. I lost by a second. Loss to Snowball 2, 1573, flag. So let's review. I split even. Two losses, two wins. Two losses, which could have been won if I played a little quicker. If I wasn't talking into this damn headset. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This wouldn't have been won. This would have been a draw. Oh, interesting. Let's pull this back a second. So I can... Man, it's a shame I can't change the size of this thing. Is there anything else here? Oh, I might have even had a draw. I just didn't hit the button quick enough. Okay. Knight g5 was an error. Should play here. Check. I'll go 
back, check. Here. I didn't even have to take there, I could have just played here. Even after that whole knight g5 business. What is he going to do? Basically nothing. If he tries this, check somewhere. Oh, okay, I mean, still, it's not like anything special, but play there. Then he would have had these different checks, which, again, even without the, if the knight was not on the board, and he played these checks, again, it's a perpetual. Or in this case, it's not a perpetual, because he does not have that move. He doesn't have even this move. That would have been a way for me to win instead of draw, instead of lose. Uh, and, you know, if he just tries to defend it, I liquidate everything. Take, take, knight here. Simple. So, this is the reason why I am not over 1600 on chess.com in Blitz.